Abertura Solar Park is located in the Spanish province of Cáceres. On over 200 hectares, more than 132,000 solar panels have been installed on 2,112 solar trackers. The location is considered ideal because it gets almost 2,000 net hours of sun per year and the land is very flat, which is ideal for installing photovoltaic solar panels. The 23.1 megawatt peak Abitura solar project employing dual axis solar trackers is the largest project in the world using this technology. The solar trackers make the panels move both north, south and west, east. They are sure that the solar panels are always in the ideal position to the sun, which drastically increases the plant's capacity. Abertura Solar uses more than 200 115 kilowatt peak installations. It was installed and is managed by Vector Quattro. The total investment for the solar park was 225 million euros. An investment of this size needs to be well protected, not only during daytime, but at night as well. After careful evaluation of different technologies, CCTV with illumination, walking patrols and various others, Vector Quattro chose FLIR Systems thermal imaging cameras to protect the almost 9 km long perimeter day and night. 27 FLIR Systems thermal imaging cameras have been installed. FLIR Systems not only delivered the thermal imaging cameras, but other hardware and software as well. Mini servers, input-output boxes, network digital video recorders, video processing units, they all bear the FLIR logo. The software used to manage the entire installation is FLIR Sensors Manager. Everything has been installed by Sofitair, a FLIR Systems distributor in Spain. They created a thermal fence around the perimeter. The principle of the thermal fence is quite simple. All cameras are mounted in a fixed position along the perimeter. Inside the FLIR Sensors Manager software, Tripwires, a video analytics algorithm, is used to detect if someone is trying to intrude the perimeter. If someone crosses a line which is set in the video analytics, an alarm will go off. A light will start to flash and an acoustic alarm will go off as well. The operator will immediately see on his screen the image captured by the camera that's created the alarm and determine if action is needed. Along the perimeter, 25 observation posts are installed. An observation post consists of a fixed-mounted FLIR Systems thermal imaging camera, a light sound beacon and, in some cases, a CCTV camera that can be used during daylight. At each observation post, an electrical cabinet is installed. The video and data of the thermal imaging and the CCTV camera are transferred to a FLIR Systems mini-server. The beacon is also connected to the FLIR mini-server over a FLIR input-output box. All signals are converted by the mini-server to TCP-IP. Thanks to an Ethernet to fiber optics converter, all signals can be transferred over fiber optic to the control room. At this control room, the data is put on a TCP IP network again with a fiber optic to Ethernet converter. On the same local area network, a computer is connected. It displays all the images of the thermal cameras and runs FLIR Sensors Manager Professional. FLIR Sensors Manager displays all cameras around the perimeter on a map. This intuitive software contains numerous features for managing security networks. It also allows to create the most complicated rules for alarms. These rules are sent to FLIR Systems video processing units. They're constantly analyzing the thermal images coming from the cameras. If they detect an anomaly, the video processing units will send a signal to the electrical cabinet at the camera that's generating the alarm. The mini-server will send a signal to the I.O. box. A contact will close and a sound light alarm will go off. At the same time, the operator will get the image of the camera that provoked the alarm on his screen. Finally, in the control room, FLIR Systems Network digital video recorders are connected to the LAN. They continuously record all the pictures from the thermal imaging cameras to hard disks. They have the capacity to store all the images for 15 days. Afterwards, they overwrite the data. Let's have a look at a schematic overview of the installation.
The system works perfectly, as Mr. Escalada, managing partner of Vector Quattro, testifies. We are right now in Abertura, which is one of our biggest installations in, in Spain. We have invested in this installation about 225 million euros, so the defending and the security system was one of our biggest priority. We get an offer from uh, Fleet Spain and, and Soviter to consider the possibility to install uh, thermal uh, cameras. We analyze this possibility uh, and we get to the convincement that it were a better solution than our uh, uh, actual uh, systems or conventional systems due to different reasons. First of all, because our main concern was security at night as we are, have a lot of people on, on site on, uh, on sunny hours, uh, we were more worried about uh, security on, on night. This was one of our reasons and the most important reason was the analytic system of FLIR, which was much more better than the one we were using in, in other of our installations. Um, Additionally, uh, we analyzed the cost of the, of the system and it was not mm, a big difference with a conventional system. Most, the, most, mm, the reason it was because we didn't have to install so much cameras because of the, of the range of the, of the thermal cameras of FLIR. So um, well, the initial investment was not so high and additionally we have some uh, operational saves in, or operational cost saves such as a consumption of energy because of the uh, lights that we will need uh, for uh, conventional cameras by night and uh, also because we will need uh, less people on site, less security people on site because of the excellent results that we are having with the system of, uh, of the analytic of the data of, of, of FLIR. No? Right now the system is working perfectly, we are really happy and by sure we will install it in, in our future installations. Since total cost of ownership for thermal imaging cameras is extremely low, they're a very cost-effective and reliable solution to protect any perimeter, not only at solar plants but at ports, airports, industrial and other facilities as well. Contact FLIR Systems, the world leader in thermal imaging cameras, and find out how FLIR Systems can help protect the perimeter of your facility as well.